rolling, rolling, rolling. Hello, guys. Um, I am. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Look into the light, Caroline. <laughs> Jesus, that is. Oh my God. Hey, could stop. That was like salt on my wrist. A vlogging we will go. A vlogging we will go. Hello, I do not know. A vlogging we will go. I am gonna shoot a video today for you guys showing you what I eat in a day. I'm just gonna shoot what I eat throughout the day. Well, I'm not gonna shoot it because nothing I eat is alive, but I'm gonna film what I eat throughout the day. And I'm just gonna take you guys through my day with me. I have to run to the kids' school real quick, first thing this morning, then off to the gym. We are up and running out the door super early in the morning, so I just grab a banana um, and 10 almonds or 10 grams of raw um, pumpkin seed. Um, and I just drink coffee black. That's it y'all, I'm gonna go in here and get my workout done and then before I work out, of course I drink my um, my DIY uh, workout shake and I'll link to that video right here. And afterwards I drink my Vega Sport protein shake. Well, I'm gonna show you now because I'm gonna eat it after my workout. Mm. Half a bag of red grapefruit. All right y'all. Yeah, I just put lipstick on to go to the gym. That just happened. I don't like looking in the mirror and feeling like I look dead. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye. -bye. Hey, kiddos. Just finished, and then so when I finish my actual weightlifting, I immediately eat my that grapefruit or the apple because you know I'm trying to give my body glucose basically. And I only do 10 minutes of hit, and I do it hit as high intensity interval training. And then, ta -da! I go to my trusty vegan protein shake. All that it is is just a Vega Sport protein powder and then um, five milligrams or one teaspoon of creatine. All right guys, I am getting ready to make some lunchy lunch. Little rice cake tacos. I know that probably sounds gross, but they're really yummy. get this lunch party started because I am hangry right so I'm going to use these Lundberg their brown rice unsalted I'm going to use two of these now the reason I'm gonna use this today is quite frankly I went to the store the other day to buy Olay tortilla wraps <laughs> how dare you they were out okay and when I say out I mean there was a woman in the aisle who had the last pack in her cart and then said to me oh, these things are so good, aren't they? Mm, she is lucky she did not step in front of me in the parking lot. I'm just kidding. But I was seriously jealous. I wanted to be like, any chance you want to give that to me? This is where the magic happens. Ooh, that does not look magical. This is just avocado that I cut up yesterday, but you know how avocado, like an apple, will oxidize and it turns brown? Don't get excited, it's okay. I only stirred that up for you guys so you aren't grossed out, because I don't care. All right, and then we're gonna use like a tablespoon, okay? It's not like a tablespoon, it is a tablespoon. And I'm gonna stick my finger in here, why? Because I'm eating it, so I don't care. I know my hands are clean, I just washed them. I know some people say like in the comments when people use their fingers like, ew, blah, blah, but I mean, I'm the, I wouldn't stick my fingers in your food, that would just be rude. Yummy. Spread this out like this. Um, Mostly just because it's gonna create like a little bit of a barrier between the rice cake and the other magical yumminess. Because you don't want it to get all soggy and yucky. Mm -hmm. These are your veggie crumbles. Um, and I burnt mine. Actually, I always do kind of deliberately burn it a little bit because I like to have some like crunchy texture in there with my regular like foamy, because otherwise I think it's like too squishy. A quarter cup of this. Just drop that on there. And you can put like vegan cheese and all kinds of other, you know, sour, vegan sour cream or, you don't even have to make this a vegan dish. If you're a meat eater, bad. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, sometimes I make this for my kids with, you know, stuff that isn't vegan because they're not vegan yet. And then this is just some homemade salsa. I may shoot a video with the recipe, maybe. See how good you are. 
And then we're just gonna put a tablespoon of this on top. And you can put two tablespoons if you just wanna be all crazy, which I'm feeling today a little crazy, okay? Down the hatch. <sighs> okay, you may want to look away because this is probably not going to be pretty. But it's getting ready to happen. Mmm. Oh my god. As they say where I'm from, that is slap your mama good. Where is my mom? This is really simple. I'm just making a sauce to go over the top of my steamed broccoli. I just pulled the broccoli out and then just measured out two cups. And now we're gonna take this mixture this is where having the right kitchen tools comes into play. Just having something like this to be able to go in and pull all this stuff out is really important. But I am going to be a sauce liberator. Sorry, I'm feeling all patriotic because March 5th is almost here. Time to vote, suckers. No, I don't talk politics, so you don't even need to ask. I will talk politics with one group of people, strangers. And honestly, it's not because I don't think people are entitled to their own opinions. It's because sometimes people think like, or act, like if you don't agree with them, you're stupid and you should go die. And I just don't really care for those kinds of interactions with my friends and family. So I just, I just don't. But back to the broccoli. Yummy. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of, um, tiny bit of salt and a squeeze of lemon and be on my way. I just realized that my son's class starts in 45 minutes and I haven't even walked out the door yet, so gotta shop shop. Time to make a shake. Sweet Jesus, I almost forgot the dates. Kinds of days. This kind, silly. Yummy. Blender, you're out of here. Cup, you're up. Oh, you think you're cute, huh? Get out of here. Mmm. Yes. All right, hey guys. Um, so I basically just have one meal and one snack left and I'm getting ready to do the meal right now. This is just a kind of small meal because at this time of the day, I've eaten so much food and had so much water, I'm not really that hungry. This meal basically is just to satisfy the rest of, you know, any gaps that I might have in my nutritional plan or my meal plan for my macros. And then the snack at the end of the night is almost always some kind of a protein, you know, shake or protein in a mug. And tonight it's gonna be like a protein in a mug and I will show you that. So what this is, is, and I've already cooked it, but this is edamame spaghetti. This is 24 grams of protein per two ounces, um, which is intense. It's one of my favorite kinds of um, spaghetti to I'll eat. The number. That is 1.9 ounces. Go all the way up to two, that's 2.10. Some days, this scale, 1.95, we'll just take one noodle. Two. I'm playing noodle ninja. I'm going to add, my kids are over there eating their little pizza rolls. Very yummy. Good, glad you're enjoying Not better than your shorts. Definitely not better than that. And then we're gonna take about an eighth a cup of, normally I would use some kind of um, spaghetti sauce, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna take an eighth a cup of pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce or anything like that, basically, because this is gonna be kind can of- Can I lick it off your finger? No, but you can lick it out of there. Um, it's gonna be, you know, an Italian-y kind of dish. 
And then you're just gonna take sun-dried tomatoes. Um, you're just gonna take about 10, you know, small pieces. You don't need much, cause as you can see. That's so much protein. Yeah, there's tons. So that's three, four, five. Six, seven. Somebody count for me. Eight, nine, that's very unsafe. I am a maniac. Not really. All right, olive oil, and you're gonna use just a you teaspoon. You are a genius. Yeah, you're a genius. And I have poured it. That's what it looks like, and then you're gonna warm it up. Um, you could put vegan Parmesan cheese on this. And yes, it is a super tiny little meal, but again, I'm not hungry right now. I'm just gonna eat that to meet the rest of my macros. And uh, it happens to be super, super yummy. Okay guys, so this is the last, um, not meal, but snack of the day. Um, and it's just basically a protein shake, but I'm gonna turn it into like a little mug cake. And what I do is I generally speaking, put all the ingredients in a mug about an hour before I'm going to eat it. That way, let's say that I'm studying or working or even, you know, watching a show or whatever. And I might otherwise feel like, oh, I don't wanna get up and do that. It's already all in the cup. So I just add the milk and move on. Um, sorry, the kids are doing an Easter egg hunt in the back and they're being kind of crazy. So I'm gonna show you what I put in here. Okay, so from left to right, that's gonna be one tablespoon of oat flour, one tablespoon of flax, one scoop of protein, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and that's just to make it rise. just finished um, eating that little mug cake thing, which I always feel super guilty for eating because it tastes really, really good. All right, enough chatting. Let's get down to business. What are the macros? Okay, oh, sorry. The count is in. It's my Blinkulator. I made this a very long time ago. And I'm gonna put a screenshot up. It's gonna have all your final macros for the day. And let me know in the comments below, you know, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see in my next video. Don't forget to click like because it lets me know that this is the kind of content that you want me to shoot. And definitely click that subscribe button. I hope you guys hit your macro split today. What is your macro split? Do you guys do 40, 40, 20? Bye guys. I wanted to show you guys something totally weird that I do. I do a lot of weird stuff, but um, everybody does weird stuff, but I'm gonna share some of my weirdness every day when I work. Let me show you what I do. This is crazy. Here's what? Spin you that. all the way around for a second so that you can see. So there are the chairs, there's the TV, and then over there, windows. Sitting directly behind those chairs. Let me see if I can show you. Hang on. You can see it? Hello. See that table with the chair and the computer? Um, that is where okay. I, before I start with her, um, I take two chairs and a blanket and I put it there to make kind of like a wall. It sounds crazy. I cannot stand the thought of like that there are two open windows behind me. I need it for lighting because the lighting in here is not wonderful with those clothes. Yeah. It's like my adult will be. I use it to make me feel comfortable because the thought of like somebody peering through that back window, I don't know, it just I creeps me out. some crazy stuff that y'all do. I don't want to be alone. I am not alone on the crazy train.